Sunday morning. It was raining outside. It's not supposed to rain today. It was raining. I was going to gear up and go out and make a make a video, but then I figured it'll probably stop raining by the time I get ready. And sure enough, it was like a 20 minute rain. Now I think there's a few drops coming out down, but basically nothing. So I'm planning tentatively to go and hang out with a friend. Not really in a hangout mood, but I don't want to. I don't want to hang out in the house all day. Don't want to do that. But today, there's this thing going on, Boca Bash. I'm going to look it up, Boca Bash. It's this thing that... It's not an... As far as I know, it's not a official event. It's an, just something that people do. There's not a sponsor to it that I know of or anything like that. I'm sure people make money off of it somehow, but... What happens is, Boca Lake, it's not really even a, a lake, just a widening section of the intercoastal. They call it Boca Lake. People hang out there during the weekends on boats anyways. But today, I guess they say the last Sunday in April, everybody at the boat wants to hang out there. It's freaking crazy. The boats tie up together and stuff, and it's just a while. It's just an excuse, yet another excuse, like St. Patrick's Day and Cinco de Mayo, for people to go out and get drunk and wild and crazy. That's all it is. Everyone's playing music loud, and there's actual DJ boats and shit. There's actually a death there last year, and there's always seems to be altercations and stuff. So last year, when someone died, the family of the person that died tried to bring a lawsuit, or actually they did. Well, they tried. I, against the city of Boca Raton for not policing the activities and the response was the waterways meaning the intercoastal it's not our jurisdiction now I find that strange because there's Boca Raton police boats that go up and down the intercoastal it then takes the side routes of the little canals that feed off the intercoastal so what are the Boca Raton boats and I've, I've actually seen them stop a boat here and there what are they doing on the intercoastal if it's not their jurisdiction It's lack of taking responsibility. The intracoastal technically is the jurisdiction of the U.S. Coast Guard, but I would think when it passes through a particular city, you got your city police boats. Why have them if you technically can't do anything? In one of the docks 
for Boca Raton. Actually, for a few different agencies, but mostly Boca Raton boats. One of their docks is directly on the intercoastal. Anyways, me and a buddy going to probably tentatively, again, hang out at our little road park and just watch all the boats and all the boat bunnies going to the event. You know there's going to be some overloaded boats and some crazy shit and some eye candy. So it'll be interesting. Like I said, I'm not big on hanging out today, but get out of the house, see some eye candy, it's always a good thing, and wait for something to happen. I'm out of here.